When you download a 3D file from Thingiverse, you can't just send that file to your 3D printer. You must first convert that 3D file to a G-code file in a process called slicing. The two most widely used and free slicer softwares for our 3D printers are Slicer and Cura. And if you've used both of these slicing softwares, you may have noticed a stark difference in behaviour on how they command our 3D printers to print perimeters of the 3D objects. When converting an STL file to G-code, one option we can change is how many perimeters, or walls, we want the 3D object to have. The resulting wall thickness is usually a denomination of the nozzle diameter. With Slicer, the exported G-code file instructs our printer to print each perimeter object entirely before moving onto the next perimeter object. But with Cura, it prints one perimeter on each object at a time, circling its way around the part until all perimeters are complete. Now, I'm not entirely sure there's a benefit to printing one perimeter at a time as opposed to completing each perimeter object sequentially. But what this does mean is Cura instructs the printer head to travel a heck of a lot more to complete the same print job. And this will undoubtedly take longer to complete with each added wall and the size of the part on the build platform. We can view how Cura is going to slice the object that we're going to print. Here I have the Peon 230 quadcopter arm and I've chosen a wall line count of three. We can change from solid view to layer view and it will show us all the tool paths that Cura is going to select for our 3D printer to be able to print this object. And if we just look at the very first layer, we can see it's printing one perimeter at a time of each object within this part. And as we fast forward here, we can see it's now on the second perimeter out of three. And as we proceed to the end of this layer, we can see it's going back and it's printing the final and third wall of the objects. For this video, I'm using the latest version of Cura, version 3.1.0. And in this version, there is an experimental option called Optimized Wall Printing Order. By default, it's disabled, and Cura behaves the way that I've shown you just now. But if we enable this option, and then re-slice this Peon 230 quadcopter arm, we can then switch back to our layer view and see the difference in the way that this part is going to be printed. Starting at layer 1, fast forward, you can see Cura is going to complete each perimeter of each object within this part before moving on to the next walled object, mimicking the behavior of Slicer. And with fewer travel moves comes a lower print time. Here you can see printing this arm with the current settings has reduced to 15 minutes. That is two minutes less than by not having this feature enabled. In my opinion, this feature should be enabled by default as it reduces the total printing time and should reduce the wear and tear as there are fewer travel moves per print job. Anyway, that was a feature in Cura I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know if you've used that feature in the comments below, or if you haven't, and if you use Cura, turn it on. I'm curious to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching.